Right guys, Quacky Boy here, and I apologise if the audio is not that great. My microphone isn't the best of quality, but I'd like to get started. Alright, so, I'll be talking today about how to improve your pistol on Halo Reach Living Dead, and this will only apply to Living Dead. These pistol tips will not give you any help in snipers or multi-team, because you'll just be using them in completely different manners, either to spam or to um, effectively kill the enemy. But anyway... Um, as you know, in Halo Reach Living Dead, there are two weapons for the humans, the shotgun and the magnum. The M6 magnum takes three body shots to kill a zombie and one headshot, so already you can tell it's much better to get headshots. And first off, I'd like to state that sensitivity does not actually matter. I mean, most people think that you need to have between one and three sensitivity for Slayer, and that if you do have a bit low sensitivity, it will help you with the pistol. I can tell you that's not true. It will help you when you're using the sniper and the DMR, yes, but pistol will not. It will not make a difference. I use eight on every game type, you know, whether it's pistols, SWAT, sniper. It does not matter. You can use anywhere between one and nine sensitivity. I would not recommend ten sensitivity because it does not allow unless you're very skilled. I think the Kevinator uses ten. I'm not. I'm not quite sure, but unless you're very skilled, it will just become too difficult for you because in this video. I'll show you that it's very important to keep your pistol still whilst you're shooting or else you will not hit those headshots. Alright, first I'll be showing two examples of what I think is quite good pistol gameplay and they're both along streets and as you can see in this one I'm by Sword Base where everyone camps. I've got my pistol out and you can see I'm scoping for some shots and I'm de-scoping for others. Personally I think it's best to actually keep scoped constantly, i.e. hard scoping wait where you can but obviously you can't do that all the time because the zombies will come and kill you but wait when you can it's best just to keep scope because it's a lot easier to get the headshot because the reticle will be exact size of the head especially on um, about 23 inch gaming monitors anyway as you can see I'm shooting and that's the other thing you can just like in Call of Duty and with the sniper you can double tap Y to either cancel or speed up or reload which is what I've done here and obviously when the zombies get too close I pull out my shotgun and obviously wait, wait, reload, and here's the, here's the part, can you see how I'm, I'm keeping my pistol completely still, I'm just moving left and right, now to do this, there are two types of ways you can do this, you can do this by either moving the left analog stick, i.e. strafing, as you can see um, here, I'm moving left and right, oh, spamming a little bit, but I'm just moving, I'm genuinely just moving left and right using my left analog stick and then I jump backwards because I missed a shot but genuinely you can just move the best way to do it is just to strafe using your left analog stick it will help you in Slayer as well and here's a nice quick scope it will help you in Slayer as well because strafing is quite important but for this most people tend to twist left and right using their right analog stick and this is bad because you, when you're on tender sensitivity, the slightest movement up or down can obviously make you choke. And you want to be aiming at head heights. That is where you want to be aiming. And that is where the heads will be, obviously. So by strafing, you are covering the distance, but you're also keeping your pistol at head height. And the next gameplay I'll be sh the next clip I'll show you is on countdown. This, in this one, I had a different side of gameplay. I decided to twist on this one because I was feeling kind of confident and the connection was really good. But in this one you can see it's much, much better just to leave your pistol reticle mm, uh, at head height at all times. In the last clip you saw me spam a little bit for someone who jumped. But in terms of jumpers, unless they are jumping really close to you, in which you really shouldn't be using your pistol in the first place, you should be pulling out your shotgun before that happens. In any case, you really should be leaving your pistol more or less alone. Because as you see in this game, I get an all pistol killing there. And I mainly just leave, I, I'm not really touching my pistol's height at all, it's just, I'm leaving it ahead, look, I'm just, I'm not even moving, I'm just moving forwards and backwards, I'm strafing a little bit, but then I'm more just twisting in this game, because like, obviously I, I kind of changed my game style a bit. But what, the best part of this lift is that, look, you see someone jumps, I just keep standing, I keep my pistol down, I'm not looking up, I'm just keeping it down, because... Where you have aimed at is exactly where the hedge will be when the zombie is standing. And obviously, when they jump, they're going to land. And unless they crouch when they land, which I don't see too often from most, like, 90% of the players. But you can see when they jump, they're going to just land back down again. You see that person just hit the ceiling, drop back down, 
his head instantly fell into the reticle. It's that easy. And then you just fire away when you see them. And then you see, just like there again, someone came up, jumped, dodged the first bullet, I waited for him to land, and then I shot him. And it's just that easy. Obviously, when you get better, you don't have to follow all these tips. You can do more twisting. You can jump as well if you're used to snipers and SWAT. But if, there is, if you need another example of good pistol gameplay, head over to Negativity Channel. I think on my clip off or whatever, I got like three kill catastrophes in my pistol. So I don't have that recording now, but yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and here's an extra clip that I didn't really know what to do with. It's just another way I found how to kill the last man on countdown. So you're having a bad day, you can't really be asked to wait for the next game. So you've seen the guy jump backwards after he's been chased by zombies, he's running around, you're sitting just in the middle, he's jumping over, you turn around, you just assassinate him. It's as easy as that really. Anyway, I hope these tips helped. If anyone needs any extra additional help, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and... Pokey boy out.